Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a card which, if you can afford it, now would probably be the best time to buy it before it goes up a little bit. I'm talking about Caracas. So the original version from Legends is around $140 right now, but at one point it was $160, $165 TCG mids. You can buy a regular Eternal Masters Edition for around $60, $65 on TCG Player. That to me is extremely low. Anything over less than half the price of the original means it has dropped a lot. Now, this particular card is being played in Death and Taxes in Legacy, which turns out to be one of the cheaper builds, especially if you are mono white. If you're mono white, you don't really need the dual lands, hence you have a entry into the Legacy format. Now, the other cards Swords to Plowshare was also reprinted, as well as uh, Filiars got it a tiny bit more expensive. But the other pieces, Wasteland is a big one, so Wasteland got reprinted as well. The deck itself is extremely affordable at this time, and this is probably the more most expensive piece for that deck. So now that it is affordable, the entire deck price has gone down. Now I don't expect, just like any deck once prices go down eventually they go up and i do expect this card to rebound extremely quickly due to its mythic status there's not that many copies of it foils are running 125 dollars which i think is incredibly reasonable because you can get a foil copy for the price uh for actually less than the price of the original copy which is nice uh the artwork is actually based on a place it's um a place in I believe Malazar. I could be wrong. Someone leave me a comment below what the place is, but the, it's a gorgeous place. So I actually love it. I love it as a purchase. I love it even more as a trade. Um, the market trade value right now is around I think sixty dollars. Um, what you we are looking at uh, currently is the price graph of it, and it's gone down. And it's gone down, but eventually it will rebound. It's just one of those cards that makes the format and makes it eternal or legacy affordable to at least make a deck and get involved in that way. So it's an entry point, and typically, like any entry point, they will go up in price uh, once more and more people want to buy the deck. So probably, if you can afford it, picking up your play sets or if you can trade into them. I know I'm personally going to trade into a few of them. So yeah, I like the card a lot as a long-term hold.